Hey, I'm Chantel with 141 Design Company and um, scrambling here this morning. So, or this afternoon already. Welcome guys. I'm, we're here live for another Friday Floss Tube Live here, here at Chantel's house. Okay, I am, we're just gonna breathe for a minute because I am running like a banshee. I just ran in from the shop. I can't believe that it's already two o'clock. The day has just flown by. We have beautiful weather today. It's in the 70s. So we've got the shop door open and we're getting all kinds of stuff done. In the last couple of days, it's been like, you know, living on the surface of the sun out there. It's been so, hi Debbie. Um, it's been so hot that it's been a lot of, a lot of work, very challenging to um, get everything done that we need to get done. So how are we looking here? So everything's in the camera. Sorry, hi, hi. So welcome. Hi, Stephanie. Oh yeah, 90s. 90s is hot, <laughs> super hot. Hi, Diane, thanks for joining. And Sally, hi, from South Carolina. Hi, everyone, welcome. It's probably gonna be a short little video session this afternoon or visit um, because I just kind of grab things randomly. And I next week, for a little um, update in my world, the 25th of June, we do our our camping trips. So we're leaving for, um, it's called Aloha State Park. It's in the upper part of Michigan, you know, like up here. <laughs> so the bridge is up here. So it's right up here. And we have a camper and we camp um, on this, at this campground every year. So it is, it's like our kids place. So, um, oh yeah. Hi Beth. Hi, how are you? I just, I just saw your name printed off in the back. So piles and piles of goodies are on their way to everyone. Um, so we'll be taking off for the, the 25th, you know, whatever that week is um, for a week. So I've been trying to get ahead and catch and do catch up so that I'm just going to stitch and have so much fun when we're camping so that we're kind of ahead of the game. I did have to adjust the shipping times in the cart. Um, you'll see it says like five to seven days. That's just because um, I'm not going to just put the cart on vacation, but we aren't going to be here. So I have to kind of bump it out a little bit just to let you guys know. Welcome. Go ahead and order. Your stuff will go in. And as soon as and as if I can get it out ahead of time, I'm going to clear the cart or shopping. Um, queue before we leave so anything that comes in for that i'm going to make sure that goes and before we leave and then while we're gone it'll just be when we get back is when that'll get right in there but i'll give you another update because i'll be here again next friday so i'll give you an update and then the next one after that i'll do a live from the campground that'll be fun and just show you just stitching um wednesday i was i was trying to get here to do the whip wednesday and i'm going to work on it again this wednesday uh, we were just short-staffed, and like I said, I've got so, piles of stuff. I decided it was probably best to um, get your shipping out to you first, and then, so we'll we'll get together. So, um, hi, Jennifer. Well, welcome. I'm glad you're here, too. I'll show you what I was, what I have been working on this week, because it's, hi, Hillary. It's been um, super fun. So, on June 9th was my birthday, so that was my birthday start. So, we'll start with some whips right now, because I'll just show you one. And I started the sampler. I have, like, you've probably heard me say this before. I've been, you know, not, samplers are not something I just gravitate towards. Um, I think they're really pretty. They just typically aren't my color palette, and it's just different um, for me. So, this one, though, um, it has been done by Hands Across the Sea Samplers, which I do watch her. I think that's super fun. I love the history and the vintageness of it all. I think it's so great. And they did this one. It's Ellen Barber, 1895, and it actually says Home Sweet Home on it. And I like the colors, and I didn't use those colors, but I liked the, I liked the very simplicity, the simplicity of it all, where it's just straight lines. Does that make sense? So Ellen Barber got started on my birthday and I'll show you where I'm at. Here we go. It's super fun. I really, I like, I enjoy it. I typically, I also kind of, I don't know about you, but I kind of like, if I'm going to put thread on my needle, I like to stitch a few more stitches than just three. So I, that's what I, that's just what I like. So it's kind of tough, the words with changing the, 
the colors um, constantly. I'm gonna get a board to put behind this so you can see that. Way. Happen to have a couple boards laying around as luck would have it. Okay, so there's my start. I went down to the bottom, but I'm pretty sure I've got it counted right, but I thought I'd leave it open just in case. And I started with that top row of alphabets. Now, what I was saying is that I, you know, I'm not a big fan of putting thread on my needle and doing five stitches. So I thought what I'm gonna do is, I don't know if you follow Lori Holt, but I'm not a quilter, I just, I dabble, okay? But I've heard them talk when they do their um, quilt tutorials about having, you know, scraps aside. And so they're kind of running another, they're making another quilt alongside the quilt they're making. Does that make sense? So they get like bonus squares, they'll put the, the thing through. So anyway, I decided what I would do is while I had a certain color that I was using here for the um, sampler, that I'd come over and keep filling in on my collection of granny squares. This is where I'm at so far with that. I have a really big piece of fabric for these granny squares, so I have no idea how far I'll get and how big it'll end up becoming, but it's just a piece of um, white 14 count Ada. And so what I'm doing is I'll do a row here and a row here, and that way it always keeps it, uh, I guess I've got a square, keeps it in a square. So we've got, that way if I get when I decide it's done, then it's done. It can be done. So let me hold this up for you one more time. I'm just gonna pin it. And then I'll talk to you about the colors I've been using. This granny square pattern, and I lost that, is free from Fat Quarter Shop. So it's a free download at Fat Quarter Shop. Here's how my squares are coming along so far. And like I said, I have used the same colors. So when I put you know, a letter in over here, I bring the rest of the floss over to this one and I do some more. So that's what I mean by I'm running them together. So these I'm doing at the same time. And the colors that I'm using are the collections that I have already put together um, that I've used in the flea market flowers because that's another whip that I've got going on and uh, flea market baskets. So these are all the DMC colors from there. And I'm just picking and winging it as I go. For the um, sampler, I do use the same color. It's not exactly the same, but like if it was orange, I use the orange. So that makes sense. So that's my whip. That's what I've got going and that's what I'm having fun with um, right now. And I'm keeping it all inside one of these, so I can just shove it in because it holds a bunch. Um, one of these bags that I made from the zippy panel, that's what it's called, the Lori Holt zippy panel. The other things that I have kitted up and ready to go are a couple different things because I'm making plans for July. I keep going back and forth and this is a clue to what I keep going in back and forth with. I've got Christmas, hi, hi Enola. I've got Christmas and I got Halloween. Okay, so I'm like on the fence. Do I do Halloween? Do I do Christmas? Maybe I do them both. Okay, so right now I know I've got these two. One of them is Boo Crew from Fat Quarter Shop. This is this year's free Halloween stitch. You can get started, it will start in July. I believe July 5th is when it's gonna get started. It is one of our giveaways um, today. It already, I gave it away last week, the extras that I have. But I'll be doing it on the 14 count um, Peaceful Purple, unless I change my mind. But so far that's what I've got using the classic color works um, that are called for. And the Boo Crew will start in the first part of July. So I'll get that going then. The other one that I'm going to do, which is a mystery stitch along with Fat Quarter Shop, is Letters to Santa. That also starts in July. That is a paid one. So you'll want to go and grab that. And I've got some of it ready to go. So I got the... Um, supply list and oh I missed your comment sorry I got the supply list so I put um hi Elaine from Eaton Rapids I know Eaton Rapids um I got this playlist so I put my DMC on one of my dials and got it all packed up here ready to go in one of the um dot dot goose bags from my collection so thank you Denise 
for making such wonderful bags and keeping keeping me bag whatever I have lots of bags <laughs> keeping my bag stash full that's why I'm so excited to get to whip Wednesday because I've got so many of those to go so I wanted to also share a previous finish from last year while we were talking about the Boo Crew, which is this year's um, free stitch along with Fat Quarter Shop. Last year they did Bats and Boos. And Fat Quarter Shop, you probably all know this and I'll just, but I'll rattle it off anyway. They do a stitch along and a quilt along at the same time for a Halloween thing. This was Bats and Boos from last year. It is still on their site. It is a free, this was super fun. And the finish that I did mine on was our Ghost and Haunted House. I shared a picture of this on my Instagram today because I don't know who is stitching all the Halloween right now, but I can't even count how many of these, I, which is odd to me, um, that I'm sending out here in June. But this is the Bats and Boos, the Bats and Boos stitch. And this is the um, Haunted House. Hey, Amanda, how you doing? Um, this is the haunted house we have in our shop. The house comes a couple different ways. You can get the house by itself and it'll come with the bats or you can get the ghost by itself and the ghost, you can see it goes all the way out. So it has um, this like space. I've got it glued on. It's hard to see with the thing stitch on, but it comes all the way out so that that particular stitch fits right on there. And I want to say it's about an eight by eight. Let me look. No. Okay, the finished size is six and a half, six and three quarters by six and three quarters. So this is probably about eight, eight by eight size-ish in that area. Or you can order just the ghost and the ghost will come with some bats as well. And the ghost is fun just by himself for other stitching that would fit in here. So that's um, in the cart now and we have more Halloween coming. So there, there will be some fun new excitements, but I thought I'd show you that previous finish since we're talking Halloween. And then on the note of other previous finishes, I haven't done a lot of patriotic this year. I've been painting and doing other things, but I do have a previous finish from last year and it is on our hanging tiles. They work similar to the way the home is on the ladder back there. You will um, put a ribbon through the tiles and I just hot glued the ribbon down and that's what will connect them. You just lace them right through. And then the front, I'll stand up so you can see it. The front is um, a layer that goes on top. And then I just have the stitch in there. And this one actually glued all this other paraphernalia onto it. These are not the other magnets. So they come, they are wiggled. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I just said wiggled. Now I'm gonna have that TikTok song stuck in my head. Cause my money does jiggle. <laughs> Not much of it folds anymore. <laughs> anyway, um, so that was a previous finish from last year for some patriotic. The sizes for those are three by four will fit inside those rectangles. So I've got my hat all crooked. And then another one that I just got kitted up that I'm really wanting to get to because I'd like to hang it here in my room is I'm just kind of all over the place, aren't I? How are you guys doing over there? Um, hands on design, the let's talk stitching. I'm doing this one right here and I've got it in this bag. So these are kind of some that I was grabbing to maybe take camping when we go, um, or some other things. I do have a lot of other plans for July, but again, I'm still trying to nail, nail down if I, if it's Halloween or if it's Christmas or if it's both. Um, you still need to finish your brats and booze. I thought you already did, Amanda. But why do I think you already finished it? I've seen your wonderful popsicle. That's super cute. And speaking of camping, I also found Little Dove Designs recently. Adorable. Oh my gosh. I mean, I know I've seen them and I've been following along. And I know that I, I've, I looked at my um, purchases and I've bought a couple different ones of hers. But I found this Caravan Days chart that I have a vintage Airstream and I also had an old vintage camper. Um, it didn't look like this. It was silver as well as a fan, but I love little vintage campers. So this one just 
I love this. It's so cute. And I'm going to do it in the Carl Four colors. Now, I think I'm going to, um, I probably won't put the letters here. I'll probably um, rechart something else in there. Um, maybe our name, something like that for our little camper. But look at the bright, pretty colors. Oops, let me. Isn't that adorable? So this is Little Dove Designs. Head over to her Etsy shop. Super cute stuff at Little Dove Designs. Okay. Some things that are now new in the shop. That's why I told you this would be a pretty quick one today. We're only going to be about 20 minutes. Um, I could show you stuff till I'm blue in the face, but I'll, I'll save you guys that. But new things that are coming, they're not quite in the shop. I'll have them in there by tonight. And then because we will be leaving, our new rela releases, could you just move the flowers up under? I could. I could. Let me look at that again. Um... Barb just asked if I could move the flowers up under the camper and skip those words altogether. Totally could do that. Let me show it again. But I really like this little heart. I think that little heart's kind of cute. I was thinking too, I could maybe put, um, since we camp at Aloha, Michigan, I could put Aloha, Michigan in there. Or I could just stop it just completely underneath the grass too and just, you know, keep it in a nice, cute little small. I just think she does a beautiful job with all of her colors and everything. It's just really such a happy, happy stitch. And I know I've seen other ones that, oh, I think Little Dove Designs did that. I can't look it up because I'm talking to you on my phone. Did that really pretty flag, too, that I've been meaning to get. Did they? You tell me. Did she do that flag? Somebody look up Little Dove Designs and tell me. There's a flag um, that we all have to get because it is... I think it looks like a little bit of work, but I think it's precious and we all need it. So um, check out that and let me know if I'm if I'm speaking out of turn, if that wasn't hers. But I think she was the one. Okay, so in the cart, or in my um, shopping cart, I guess, site on Etsy, okay? The 141 shop on Etsy. I'm adding some new things this evening, okay? We did sell out of the ca the calendar uh, blocks. Those sold out last week. I can get some more. I'll probably do one more order of those, just a small order. So be looking for that. We sold out of the first run of the spindle flags. Um, yes, get it, Cam Amanda. You'll love that camper pattern. It's so cute. Uh, we sold out of the spindle flag, the painted version. Um, that I, because I only had it available for a short time so that I could actually get them painted and get them shipped out right away so that you'd have them to be able to enjoy for the holiday season. And those sold out right away. It is available again now because I'm going to paint again on Sunday. So um, I've got a few that have been ordered. And if you would like one that's already painted, just go there and order it. Um, again, I'll cut it off by Saturday night so that I know how many I'm painting. Um, it's kind of like baking cookies. So I know how many um, cookies to make basically so that I know um, and I can set myself up and I will do one more round of flag painting and then we'll say goodbye to the spindle flag. And I think that's kind of fun. I really, I really like that. So something else that I found that I know I'm painting for myself this weekend. So I'm going to put them in, but these will be unfinished. I'm gonna put them in the chart in the cart and I've got a limited supply of these as well. And I'm putting it in as just the unfinished versions individually so you can get them if you want. These are not backers. These are just accessories to go alongside your stitching. One of them is this cute little shelf sitter that says USA. And I'm gonna show you how it comes apart. So you've got it sits in this, I didn't glue this one up so you could see. This is the base. You got two pieces for your base and you would glue those right on top of each other. Then the USA has a backer to it and then this overlay. So what I'm gonna do is I just mark off where that is and paint one paint on the back, paint a color down here, call it probably like red, paint some blue or the opposite and then paint this entire thing white and glue them on top of each other and into the little stand it will go. And then it can sit with all of my other stitching and you know, Ray Dunn things and the holiday things. And it's just a cute little fun add-on for the year that um, you can then write that the year you, you painted it, 
yada yada. The other one that goes alongside that as well is this cute little one, just the letter number four. So you got the fourth. Again, I glue this one together. So um, this one will be in there as well. And then there's also a star and that's the star. It sits in the little base just like that too. I didn't glue this one in either. But. So we've got the fourth, the star, and the USA. They will be in tonight. Pop back over and visit, and they'll be there ready for you to grab. Um, again, it's just going to be through the end of this week that they'll be available. Grab them, and we'll get them shipped right out so that you can paint them. And maybe you want all four. It could be a really fun, because um, I think I'm going to take them up north. I, cause that's what I, that's kind of why I found them. And I just thought I'd share them with you guys too. What I'm doing is I'm cutting a bunch of these to take with us camping. And then the kids will have things to paint and work on. We usually paint rocks and things like that. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to have a lot of fun little accessories that my grandkids could paint. So I thought I'd just go ahead and share them with you as well. Um, so that's kind of a one and done thing. The new backer design that is coming this evening too, I was just doing some final tweaks on sizing. And that is the bubble frame. I shared the bubble frame last week. It will be in the cart this evening. Sorry, I'm scrambling on that, but I meet you guys hear it too. And so this one, I was working it up since it's a great square. I was working it up in a variety of sizes for you so that it would be something, oh yeah, 90s, man. Whew, we got a good weather here today. Um, but that way it works up so that you've got something that will um, fit with a variety of things because it's a it's just a really nice basic. And I have a lot of specialty decorative things, but I want to offer you a lot more basics as well because um, I need more basics in my world as two and there we go so that's what they look like i will get those ready for you another new item that will be in the cart these will all be in before 6 p.m eastern standard time is joy to the world came in i've just been grabbing a couple of charts um to add to our our shopping site and i know i say cart and shop and it's all on etsy okay it's our sh shop but joy to the world I do have this on my list to stitch, and it will come with a floss dial that is already lasered with the floss that you would use for this chart. They just pop, we just add them right in, so when you get your chart, if you haven't already picked it up, when you get it from our shop, we just put the floss dial right inside there. So that came as well. We also got our shipment of um, month to month. I went ahead and ordered those, so those will be in the, um, in there as well let me grab it out so you can see and I wanted to see the floss the month to month I'm just gonna make a generic dial for because this one then I can have a lot of different dials so you'll just get a generic dial and you'll to use um, with the month to month the others I typically put the names on but that way you can change out and do your thing so we have these available in our Etsy shop as well and those will go in so that you can purchase those and that will come with a dial. I have, oh, two for sure, maybe three options. Actually, I know I have three. I've got options for, oh, thanks, Amanda. The bubble frames are going to be fun. Um, I love them too. I have three options of ideas for the um, finishing on month to month. And I pretty sure I've nailed down how I want to do it because I wanted mine to hang on the wall. I love the basket. You probably saw Priscilla share her basket. And if you're getting month to month, you'll want to go over to their site. They shared a, a finishing tutorial on it. So you'll know all the details on doing all the finishing on the basket and what um, size press on board to cut, what size the whole thing comes at. And then she also does a great tutorial on finishing the circle. I've never done that before, so I guess I'm going to try. But um, that will, that's all there. So you can you know see how she's done it. And she did it in a basket with some flowers. I want mine, I have a spot 
um, in my house here for it to be on the wall. So I'm doing one that's a wall version. So I will share that with you next week when I have it all completely finalized because next week I'm going to also announce my home to home or month to month, sorry, <laughs> my month to month finishing backer. And I will also announce all of July's new releases that we have worked up so far. So it will be a much busier um, floss tube. Now let me announce the winners from last week and we'll do some giveaways. I'm just making, I'm just scanning to make sure I didn't miss something that I wanted to talk to you guys about. I think that's about it. Oh, here's those other ones. Does anyone have any questions um, about anything? And like I said, come back tonight, six. Oh, I do have another announcement. Okay, let's back up just a minute. I have a really, um, a great announcement. I want to share it with you here, and then I'm going to start pushing and letting you know and keep giving lots of reminders that this is coming up in the spirit of garage sale, because my daughter's doing a garage sale today, and it's just garage sale season, and it's that time of year. I have been working in our shop um, for the last few days and have found, oh, you guys, you'd freak out if you saw what I have found. I found so many things that are either, okay, there's some of them that are just, we're gonna call them factory seconds. So they maybe had a flaw in the grain or in the wood that was either on the backside or something like that, but it's still a perfectly good um, piece to use, but it might have a flaw in it. So I did not just send that out. Um, and it's, when I say flaw, it's not really a flaw. It's maybe a wood knot or something because we use, um, thanks, thanks Kathy, um, because we use maple. And so some you'll have not lots of grain and knots and things like that. So I, if it has a big, huge knot in it, I tend to just hang on to it. But my pile of the things I've hung on to is getting a little bit out of control. I have bins full of bats. I have bins full of flowers. I have bins full of this, that, and the other thing. Okay, so mark your calendars right now because on July 15th, and this is going to be an event that will be going on in our Facebook group, which will be, it's in the description box below. You can come on over and join the Facebook group. I've got to do it there because I'm going to do a live sale. And what I'll do, the premise of the sale, I've got some helpers that'll be here. I'll basically hold something up. I'll tell you how much it is. I'll show you all the details about it. We'll discuss it. And if you want it, you just put mine or sold, something to that effect in the comments below. And then my staff will grab your information from you and we'll get it shipped out to you. This sale will include, it is, um, will include, but it's not limited to, <laughs> this sale will include previous backer designs, some backers that maybe have been discontinued, some one of a kinds, some prototypes that I maybe cut and then didn't go forward with, but it's still really cute. Some things that are the same thing, but maybe a different size, if that makes sense. We might have a couple strawberries. I'm not, maybe, you know, a couple strawberries are pretty big. <laughs> so if there's something you're interested in like that, it'll be kind of a fun sale to see. Some, um, and it will also include painted pieces because I've painted a few things. Um, actually, I have quite a few painted pieces in there. So I'm gonna have a lot of painted items in there. And I also have, some one of a kind things that are from our wood shop, some chunky blocks, some barn wood, um, some chippy peely wood, lots of different things that can be used as backers. I've got some toolboxes that need to find new homes. Um, I have chalkboards. I have all sorts of different things that will be wonderful for finishing and backers. So I hope you'll join me. It will be July 15th in our Facebook room and I will start, um, giving you more and more information about that as it's coming up. I just wanted to put that out there now so that we had a month to just kind of let everybody know. that. So spread the word. But right now, okay, so back to who won the giveaways from last week. Number one, we gave away the Stitch Quarterly um, Hello Summer. I think it was called Hello Summer Design with the bag, the chart and everything. And that goes to Devra Klein. So Devra, Devra, email me below and we'll get your information and get that out to you. I have, um, well, I'll tell you that. Number two was the Boo Crew kit. 
and that was with the floss and the fabric and the bag. And that goes to Stitch Girl Patricia. So if you are Stitch Girl Patricia, please email me and I'll get that to you. And number three was the box from our retreat with the goodies in the box, which came with a um, framelit and a box candy and some other things, some freestanding things, some goodies, just a goodie box from retreat. And that goes to Arlene Curry. So congratulations, ladies. And I did get through and find everyone who has emailed me already that ended up in spam and things like that for previous emails. And all of those have shipped. So all your things and backers are coming to you. And I'm going to next week probably um, introduce a new email address so I can have an exclusive email where giveaway things go to. Um, that's like the most, it's juggling the other shipping and the email is, I just want to try to make it a little more, a little easier for all of us. Um, this week, I want to do just a gift certificate to the shop. So if you will um, tell me your summer vacation plans, um, I, since I've shared my camping plans with you, what are your vacation plans? And in the comment, just put um, the word gift in there. We're going to use gift. Hey, Karen, um, I have a question for you right now. Karen, I have, I know you messaged me. Sorry to call you out here on live about this bubble frame. Okay, I have your um, calendar cubby or the not cubby. Sorry, that was the other one from the the other one. It looks like it. Um, the calendars with the blocks. I have that pulled aside for you. But if but I didn't know you had mentioned that maybe you thought this was a better finish for your um, your home. So just message me and let me know what you're thinking. Um, about that and I can either credit or just get the calendar thing shipped out to you, but it is a box, it's in a box and it's ready to go. So get with me on that. Thank you. I'm glad you popped up. This is kind of fun just kind of talking to you guys. Thanks for interacting and, and having fun. So back to our giveaway. Um, use the word, I guess gift. Use the word gift. Maybe not gift. Yeah, just use gift because I already said it. Just use gift and that's the one I'll, I'll search for when I'm doing the random comment picker. And then, but tell me about your summer plans because I like hearing all of the different things. And, um, and if you want to talk about what you're stitching, because I'm also, like I said, I was up in the air over Halloween or um, you want both. Okay, Karen, I'll get you both. <laughs> that does work. I will get you both. Um, the, um, sorry, back to what I was saying. The um, giveaways for this week are gonna be a $25 gift certificate to our SC shop. So you can use that towards anything you'd like. And I will get, do those in the floss tube next week. That way um, I can just email and get those right out. Well, since we'll be on vacation and I won't have anything, then I can make sure I get something to you right away. It'll be like a credit or something or a coupon code is what I'll give you to use, I think is how that works. So use the word gift and tell me about that. And I thought I had one more thing. I wanted to talk to you about. We talked about the um, the sale on the 15th. And so new charts are in the shop. Everything will be updated by six o'clock tonight. Some other new things are coming in July. Um, all new releases will be next week. And I guess that's it. So I'm gonna head back out to the shop now. And thank you so much for joining me. I've had a great time with you here this afternoon. And I'll talk to you again next Friday for sure. If And I'll try to get to my Whip Wednesday and show you for sure what I'm bringing, at least camping, because I'll have my, um, my bag packed and I will share my camping haul and all the things. So bye guys.